Hey everybody, just a quick midweek video, short video. I am looking for a 100 microamp meter and I don't have one. Well, I think, well, I do, but it's humongous. It's this thing here. So this thing's massive, right? So if I were to get, put that in a project case, it'll take most of, the, most of the space. But you know what? Maybe it won't be that bad at all, right? I mean, I'll have a big meter for my project. In any event, I thought about uh, taking some of my existing meters, which I call true meters. So take, for example, this meter here. So it reads 10 amps, up to 10 amps, and it's a direct connection. You can see some pretty thick wires in the, uh, at the back. Well, inside around the moving coil is a, is a coil of thick wire. So it's a shunt, essentially. That's what's inside of it. Now, I can't remove that, but I thought, well, maybe for the um the voltmeters right so this one here so this is a voltmeter that i have and i called it at the time a true meter so you know you put up to 75 volts and you'll read 75 volts well it turns out that these meters here the voltmeters at least anyway just have a dropping resistor inside and that's great so I, what i'm doing is i'm bypassing that drop resistor and I'm going to use my meter tester. So I've already cut that uh, or rewired that voltmeter, okay? And what I want to do is I want to find out what the full scale deflection of that meter is. So I need a 100 microamp meter, um, but now that I've taken the, sh uh, the, the drop resistor out, I want to see what current this will deflect at full scale. So I have this meter tester. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put the schematic at the end, at the end of this video. Very, very, very simple. This box actually has two things. It's a zener diode tester and a meter tester. But I'm going to just demonstrate the meter tester portion of it right now. So uh, what you have to do is you have to use an ammeter. So I'm using the Fluke. And the meter under test are these wires here. So I've got them connected to the meter. And what we do is we're just going to... Um, this is a 10, 10 turn pot. So what we want to do is we want to see when that meter goes full scale and then read how many uh, microamps or milliamps that's going to be. So let me throw the light on here, turn my little tester on. So right now I'm at 120, uh, sorry, 0.11 milliamps. So that would be a hundred microamps there approximately. And we, when we look at the meter under test, we can clearly see it's not full scale. So let's just turn this pot and see when we get full scale on the meter to the left. And here we go. And there we go. And you can clearly see this is a one milliamp meter, which isn't bad. I mean, a lot of projects that I uh, built use either a 100 microamp or a uh, 1 milliamp. Turns out I found I do have some other 1 milliamp meters, but definitely short on the 100 microamp. Anyway, just wanted to show you the meter tester that I built like ages ago. I don't even know when, um, but it's a very simple circuit. I'll, I'll throw that up right now so you can look at it if you want to make it. It's up to you. And uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't checked out some of my other videos, please check them out. Bye for now.